Hello everyone, and in this series we are going to make the classic game of Pong. And what we're going to do is create the game in its entirety from the two bats on the screen, the ball bouncing, the scoring, and we'll even have a two-player game mode and an AI controlling this second bat. So I have already created and imported the assets and the first thing I would like to do is really get the core game going. I want the ball to be able to move around the screen and bounce off of both of these paddles or bats or whatever you want to call them. I'm going to start off with creating some box colliders for these two paddles and I'm going to create a circular collider and what these colliders will do is allow both our ball and our paddles to interact with physics because we want our ball to be able to bounce back from the paddle and we also want our bats to move around the screen when we press buttons on the keyboard. So for this one, I am going to create a new script, name it Bat1Controller. And with this script, I am going to make this bat move. But first, I have to add a rigid body 2D. And that's because our rigid body will control everything with physics. But we want to set our gravity scale to zero, set the fixed angle, and now we need rigid body because we need to access a velocity component. We cannot change transform dot position directly because this would ignore physics. And we don't want that when we want our ball to do stuff when it hits this. Anyway, in our code, I've already gone over how to make things move when you press keys on the keyboard, but if you need a bit of a refresher, you use input.getKey, and then you can use key code dot whatever key you can think of. I pretty it should have almost every key possible, but I'm not entirely sure. But for the left bat, we're going to use A and oh wait, W and S for our movement. What we're going to do to make it move is access the rigid body 2D component, and when you're pressing W. I want to set the velocity to a positive value. Actually, I need else here. When I'm pressing S to make it go down, I want velocity to be a negative value. And when I'm not pressing any of the keys, I want it to be zero. Now, what this code is saying is that it's checking for input. Are you pressing W? Otherwise, are you pressing S? Otherwise, do this. And what the velocity does is move the... Wait a minute. I need to use new vector 2 for the velocity. Okay. And the reason why I have to do that is because velocity has two different components. An x component and a y component. And since I just want to access the... Um, Y component, I'm going to have zero for all of the X components and some value for all the Y components. Now if I were to go click play, press, and it's not working. Did I not? I forgot to save my script. Oops. Okay, now it should work. Right, it moves up and it moves down. However, 
there is a small problem where if I were to keep holding up when it's at the top of the screen, it will go forever. And I want it to stop right at the top and right at the bottom. So what we got to do is check if you're at the top of the screen at the bottom of the screen. So when I'm using my hierarchy and selecting the game object, I could see the real world coordinates and it appears that the top of the screen is at y equals 3 and the bottom of the screen is y equals negative 3. So here I can just add a bit of code in order to make it so you can only move when you're at the top of the screen. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to access the transform.position.y value and if it's greater than 3 I am going to create a variable actually so if the absolute value is greater than 3 and an absolute value basically ignores the negative. It turns negative into positive. So this is just checking if its position is 3 away from 0. Now what I want to do is declare a variable up here. Let's name it can move. And if you're at greater than equal 3 with your position, I'm going to set can move to false. Otherwise, I want can move to be true. Hmm. So, the way I'm going to do implement this bit of code is by with an and can move. And this is checking if you're pressing W and if can move is true, and which occurs whenever you're not three units away from zero. So if I were to place that, I should stop the moment I hit the top of the screen. Yep, it appears I have stopped. But if also I can't move further which is also a problem. So what I'm going to need to do is push it away from the top or bottom of the screen. And to do that, I'm going to access this velocity component and make it equal a new vector 2, but this time have it the negative position. Negative this dot transform dot position. And what that should do is move yourself down if you're at the top of the screen, move yourself up if you're at the bottom of the screen. So you can never truly okay, I made a mistake. Unexpected symbol. Oh I forgot a semicolon. So now I should hmm well, that didn't work. Well, programming is mostly trial and error. So instead what I'm going to do, instead of using can move, I'm going to let you press W when your Y is less than 3. I'm going to let you press S when your Y is greater than 3. Greater than negative 3. I'm going to delete all this. And just keep in mind that coding is trial and error. Not everything is going to work, and I can move around nicely. Anyway, that wraps it up for this episode. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.